it's lights out and away we go. Hamilton gets a mega start and Valtteri Bottas under pressure already and there's trouble maybe at the back as the two Mercedes go wheel to wheel into turn one. Valtteri Bottas just ahead of Hamilton from Sebastian Vettel. Perez challenging Max Verstappen. They managed to get safely at the front through turn two as well. Bottas has that lead but his teammate is harrying all the way down towards turn three. It's Bottas from Hamilton, Vettel, Perez, Verstappen and then Lando Norris. Great start from Norris. Brilliant start from Hamilton but Bottas Kept him at Robert Kubica is into the pits for his first change of tyres in this race. He's had a drive-through penalty. We've got 20 cars all running. Grosjean locks up, takes to the escape road, makes it rather easy for Daniel Ricciardo. Lights up his tyres and might have to be coming into the pits again very shortly as the Alfa Romeo uh, bypasses him of Kimi Raikkonen as well. Takes the lead of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And there's two cars down there, Daniel Ricciardo and also Danny Kvyat. Kvyat, I think, locks up a little bit. Ricardo certainly locks up, goes straight on and might just have collected the Toro Rosso as yeah, well. Yeah, he's just slightly overdone it, hasn't he? He's tried to break on the inside. Perfect defending by Fiat, but Ricardo just locking up and you can see how long it takes to get these cars oh, into oh, reverse. That's where it came. Ricardo reversed into him. Oh dear. Another one-two for Mercedes-Benz and it's victory for Bottas in Baku. Valtteri Bottas wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and that makes up for the pain and anguish of 12 months ago. Amazing job, guys. Really, really strong. So proud. Proud to be part of this. So thank you. Head of Norris, Kimi Raikkonen keeps up his record of scoring points in every race this season from the pit lane to 10th place in the final point points finish. Where it's lights out and away we go and Hamilton gets away well. Bottas tries to cover up Verstappen and then comes Sebastian Vettel. It's wheel to wheel Bottas and Verstappen. Bottas just squeezes past the Red Bull there. Joe Vanazzi and Charles Leclerc taking the inside line which you're not supposed to do at the start as they try to stay out of trouble. Through Massonet we go. Hamilton ahead of Bottas, Verstappen, Vettel and then Daniel Ricciardo ahead of Kevin Magnussen. Two Toro Rosso's almost getting in a bit of a heat. Nico Rosberg, uh, Nico Hulkenberg behind them. Leclerc goes around the outside. Lando Norris, and there's contact. Kimi Raikkonen on Lance Stroll. Stroll was just straightened up a little bit there by the Alfa Romeo. They all managed to get through the Lowe's hairpin. The Ferrari has got through. The defence from Romain Grosjean didn't pay off there, and Leclerc did get through at Raskas. You've got to hand it to Leclerc. That was pretty smart. Oh, oh, that one didn't work. Uh, it didn't work at all. Charles Leclerc has gone for it again. This time he tangles with the Renault. The, the Ferrari spun by itself. I don't know if he's tapped the barrier on the inside. He hit the barrier with his right rear. We have a banker. Oh dear, and he's now shredding the tyre to pieces and possibly causing a lot of damage, Charles Leclerc. He's ripping his own floor apart. You have to come back slowly. He's angry, he's frustrated, he's dissecting his own car. It's got to be almost walking pace. Bottas is away, and that must be an unsafe release because Max Verstappen has come out at the same time. They very, very nearly touched as well. And Max Verstappen has a five-second time penalty for an unsafe release. Now we have got a car park at Raskas. George Russell, Nico Hulkenberg can get past, Robert Kubica can get past, Kubica and Leclerc are kind of stuck there and this is blocking the track, double waved yellows. Russell gets going, Leclerc gets ahead of Giovinazzi. But what caused this? Let's still have a little look now. Down the inside goes Giovinazzi and spins George Russell round. Perez get caught up as well. Charles Leclerc retires from his home race and what a wretched home race it's been for him. Now this is Kimi Raikkonen. Again, it just drives into me. We saw it, Kimi, we saw it. We have you on board. Uh, just watching here, Kevin Magnussen and Sergio Perez going into the chicane. Magnussen defending hard and rubbing wheels there with Sergio Perez before he then has to cut the chicane to stay ahead. Man, Kevin got the chicane. I overtook him and he got the chicane. Mode 7, when you're ready, Max. Mode 7 to the end. The stuff has been given more power. You have overtake available. Oh, that's great news. Is he He's going to have a go. One? Is he going to send one? He's, Lewis parks the car absolutely perfectly. Now Verstappen tries to switch back. That was super driving, that. 
Here goes Verstappen down the inside on Lewis Hamilton. They make contact. Hamilton has to cut the chicane. Verstappen does as well. There was definite contact there as Verstappen sent one into the chicane to try and get past. Yeah, it just turns in. I'm trying to overtake. Hamilton's now going to make it three victories around the streets of Monte Carlo and extend his lead at the top of the championship. Hamilton wins the Monaco Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel and Valtteri Bottas cross the line and with Max Verstappen's five-second penalty, they will take their place on the podium as Pierre Gasly crosses the line for a very impressive fifth-place finish. Lewis, that's what, that was a victory worth, Nicky. Well done. Unbelievable job. Congratulations. Emerge celebratory in Nicky's honor. 70 laps ahead of us here in Montreal. It's lights out, away we go. Good start from Vettel and from Hamilton Leclerc. Now comes up on the inside, and you've got Ricardo ahead of Gasly and Bottas. Vettel into turn one, wheel to wheel, Leclerc and Hamilton. But Hamilton gets the inside line through turn two, and he's on to go through the first chicane. We ride on board with Alex Albon there, and you can see absolutely no chance of avoiding contact and collision. And this is the start from Roman Grosjean. So I wonder, Martin, was he the Haas then that went off into turn yeah, one? He had a poor start, did Roman, way too much wheel spin. And there, yeah, I feel for Alex Albon there. And uh, look, he's got a, he's trying to throw the carbon <laughs> fiber confetti. Lando out. Norris has a problem with his right rear. He's hit the wall. I wouldn't imagine, I would imagine it's the wall of champions that he's hit. Look how hot those brakes are getting at the rear on fire as well. Lando Norris's race is run and done. Here's Lando Norris in there to the final chicane. Locks up. No, he did not touch the wall, Martin. Yeah, he's got a. He's that's the, where that's, it went on the straight. Yeah, it's a rear, it's a break it's a break issue that's melted the rear suspension. Wow. Okay. Yeah, right, Pike. Something's happened. Okay. Oh, uh, we will. We're gonna have to stop. All right. Really sorry, mate. I'm really sorry. Perez has a little go on Roman Grosjean down into turn one. They go wheel to wheel and they touch, and Grosjean goes off the track but only enough to allow Sergio Perez past, and Perez was not, not going to let that one go whatsoever. I'm just expecting a team radio here now. Yeah, okay, they fall down to the race controller. I, I'm, I, I'm not entirely surprised. Oh, he's gone oh, wide! Sebastian Vettel goes wide and Lewis Hamilton thought there was a gap, but the wall and Sebastian Vettel moving to the right-hand side closed that gap down. Has Vettel just got away with an error and preserved his lead in this Canadian Grand Prix? Let's see what happens. Yeah, the back just would not stick. That's bad news for him in terms of his absolute pace as well. He didn't do anything wrong. You just came on the track so dangerous. Yeah, copy this. We're on it. Was that dangerous by Sebastian Vettel? Hamilton really had to jam on the brakes, didn't he? Sebastian Vettel has been given a five-second time penalty for an unsafe re-entry and forcing oh, another driver what? off the track. Vettel has five-second penalty, so we just need to stay in his gearbox. Vettel has now got 12 laps to try and build at least a five-second gap and win a race that he's dominated, Martin. We've got a five second time penalty for unsafe re entry. Head down, head down. We have Hamilton three seconds behind. Yeah, I had nowhere to go. Seriously, I had nowhere to go. I did see him. Copy. You know, if you go through the grass and you come back, you have an amazing grip. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I had grass on my wheel. This cold if he decides to go that way. If he got to the inside, he got past me. Okay, stay focused, copy that, stay focused, 10 laps to go. I am focused, but they're stealing the race from us. As the top two have given us some great excitement this afternoon, make their way out of the final corner, Sebastian Vettel takes the chequered flag, but Lewis Hamilton wins the Canadian Grand Prix. It is Hamilton for the seventh time that will take victory in Montreal. Nice work, mate. You forced the error, and that's the win for you. That is not the way, naturally, I wanted to win, but I would have been passed if it wasn't for the wall there, so... Uh, big thank you. No, 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 guys. No, no, no. Not like that. Not like that. No, no, no.